Welcome back to Vedic Maths Elementary Level Course. Did you feel zero inside you today? It is very important to make friends with number zero for many reasons. I will tell you one reason today. In our life, we do two kinds of activities. One is expressing and other kind of activity is perceiving. You know what is expressing yourself. What about perceiving? What is it? Perceiving means you look at any problem or any situation and you understand it completely, 100%. That is perception or perceiving. Usually, we try in our minds mainly for expressing ourselves. How to train our mind for perceiving? For perceiving, we have to learn to train our mind to be silent. You have to become zero. Eyes open or eyes closed. Mind has to be silent. With a silent mind, if you look at any problem, you will understand it completely. And then you can solve the problem using the best solution possible. Or you can create your own solution. That is fun. If we don't train our minds to perceive, we tend to stick to using just one method for solving all problems. Hmm, it's not so fun. It's like using a razor for shaving and also for cutting vegetables and also for cutting trees. Oh, please don't cut trees. In the last class, we learned additions by counting the number of tens in the problem. We mostly did problems where the answer is a multiple of 10. How about if the answer is not a multiple of 10? We'll see. Okay, for example, say 56 plus 26. Okay, the answer is not a multiple of 10. How do we usually do this problem? Usually we start from the right. Okay, we'll see. First, what we do, 6 plus 6 is a 12. 1 is a carry. So we put that 1 somewhere here and then write down the 2 here. And then we see here 5 plus 2 plus 1 is a 8. This is how we usually solve the addition problems. Okay? Now we will see how to solve this problem without using pen and paper or board and marker. Just by looking at it, we have to solve. Now look at this problem, same problem, 56 plus 26. Now we count the number of tens here. Here we have 50 plus 6. Okay, there are five tens here. And here we have two tens. Total how many tens? Seven tens. So that's a 70. And then we have a 6 and 6. 6 plus 6 is a 12. You add 70 and 12, it's 82. That's all. You can see 70 here and then 12, if you add, it's 82. As simple as that. Now pause the video and take a look at these problems. Just look at these problems and the answer should come out of you automatically. Take your time. Okay, now we see the first one. How many tens are here? There are four tens here, four tens here, total eight tens. It's an 80. Here, eight plus five is a 13. 80 plus 13 is a 93. How about here? How many tens here? Three tens, four tens, seven tens. It's a 70. And then five plus nine is a 14. 70 plus 14 is a 84. You will see lots of funny ways like this to solve so many problems as we go along. In addition problems, the key is identifying the tens. We know the combinations of two digits that can produce a 10. 9 and 1, 8 and 2, 7 and 3, 
6 and 4 and 5 and 5. Now another funny thing here. What are the combinations of 3 numbers that produce a 10? Okay, there are 8 such combinations. I will give you one example. Say 7 plus 2 plus 1 is a 10. Can you find out what are the other 7 such combinations? 0 is not allowed to use, okay? And you can repeat the same number, like say 6 and 2 and 2. Oh, you cannot say 1 plus 2 plus 7. That is same as this, just reordering. That is also not allowed, okay? Pause the video and find all those combinations. Total, 8 of them. Here is the answer for you. Pause the video and check it out if you got it right. Okay, now we have three numbers here. Can you just take a look at this problem and tell the answer? The key is to count tens. Which numbers will produce a 10 here? You got it right. 6 plus 4 is a 10 and 10 plus 7 is 17. Very simple. Now we see bigger problems. We have four numbers here, four digits here. We want to add them up. Okay, we go one by one. Can you find this answer just by looking at it? Is there a 10 here somewhere? There are three digits here that add up to a 10 out of these four digits. Yes, three, two, five will add up to 10. 10 plus six, 16, very simple. How about this? Pause the video and see. Where is 10 here? Here we have a 10. And then we have a 7 plus 2 is a 9. 10 plus 9, 19. Now we have an addition problem where there are two digit numbers also. Okay, take a look at this problem. Can you see any tens or multiples of tens? It's very straightforward. 19 plus 1 is a 20. 20 plus 8 is a 28. How about this problem? Is it frightening? Take a look at this problem. You can pause the video. Are there any numbers that can produce a multiple of 10? Yes. We have 28 and 32 will produce a multiple of 10 because 8 plus 2 is a 10, we know it. So what is the answer for 28 plus 32? We know very easily. We have two tens here, three tens here, total five tens, and then eight plus two will give you one more 10. So total six tens, okay? It's a 60, we know. Just remember that 60 in your mind, okay? Now, we have 33 plus 4 is a 37. You add 37 to the number in the mind, 60. So the answer is a 97. So number in mind, 60. 37 here we add, it's a 97. As simple as that. Pause the video and do these two problems by yourself. Just by looking at the problem, you should get the answer. Here are the answers for you. Did you get them right? Okay, we have a problem here where there are numbers arranged vertically. Four numbers, okay? We will solve this problem in the usual way where we add one column at a time from the right. Okay, before that, you pause the video and just simply tell the answer by looking at this problem. You write that answer somewhere. Okay, we'll cross check. Pause the video. Okay, we will start adding one column 
at a time starting from the right. This is how we do it at school. Okay, is there any combination that produces a 10 here? Yes, 7 plus 3 is a 10. 10 plus 5, 15, and then we have a 2, 17. 1 is a carry, and 7 we write down as the answer. Okay, is there any combination that produces 10 here? Yes, actually there are two combinations that can produce a 10. Can you check them? 2 plus 8 is a 10 and then 3 plus 6 plus 1 is another 10. So it's a 20. Okay, did you get the same answer when we did problem mentally? Okay, now you solve this problem using the regular way where you add one column at a time from the right. Okay, going forward, we will learn fantastic ways in Vedic maths where you can add any big number with any big number just by looking at it. Okay, but for today, this problem and a few more homework problems like this, you do from right to left, one column at a time, but finding the tens. Okay, pause the video. Okay, here we start the additions. 7 plus 3 is a 10. 10 plus 4, 14. Okay, 14 means 1 is the carry. 4 we put down in the answer. Okay, here any 10s here? Yes, this 2 plus 8 is a 10. And we have 4 plus 1, 5. So, 15. 1 is the carry. 5 here. Okay, anything here that can produce a 10? Yes, 7 plus 3 is a 10. And then we have 6 here, 5 plus 1. So, 16. So, 1 is the carry here. And then 6. And then here, 6 plus 1 is a 7. That's all. Okay, let's do this addition problem also using the regular way. But finding the tens. Okay, did you find any tens here? Yes, there is a 10 here. And then 8 plus 5, 13. So 13 plus 10 is a 23. So 2 is a carry and then 3 we put down. Okay, do you see any tens here? Oh wow, we see tens here. This is a 10 and then 5 plus 3 plus 2 is also a 10. So it's a 20. So 2 is the carry and we put down a 0. And then what is 8 plus 6 plus 2? Oh, there is a 10 here. 8 plus 2 is a 10. 10 plus 6, 16. As simple as that. Now pause the video and do this problem by yourself. The answer is 6. 8, 7, 2. Did you get it right? In the last class, we learned this problem where we add a 9. In this case, what we did? Instead of jumping 9 steps, we jumped 10 steps and came back 1 step. What was the answer for this problem? We do 33 plus 10, that's a 43, and come down 1 step. So the answer was a 42. Now, similarly, can you do 66 plus 19? We want to add a 19. So how do we do? You guessed it right. Instead of adding 19, we add a 20. So we add a 20 to 66 and then come back one step. 66 plus 20 is 86. Come down one step, 85. That's the answer. Pause the video and try to solve these problems in the way we just talked about. Jump a little more and come back. Here we are adding a 39. You know how to do it. Here we are adding a 48. What is the next higher multiple of 10 to 48? 
50. So here we add a 50 and then come down how many steps? Two steps because 48 is two away from 50. Okay. Pause the video. Here are the answers for you. Pause the video and check them out if you got it right. How do we do these problems? Here we are adding 55 to 29. Here 44 to 39. Okay, these numbers are not so close to multiples of 10. How do we do this? There is a nice way. Take a look. You can pause the video if you want. As you might have seen, these two are not close to multiples of 10, but these numbers are close to multiples of 10. So you can add 29 to 55, okay? And 39 to 44, as simple as that. Pause the video and do this by yourself. Here are the answers for you. Pause the video and check them out if you got them right. Now you have mastered addition problems quite a bit. Now we can start subtraction problems. Subtraction is simply a reverse process of addition. Okay, you can see here. We know 6 plus 4 will give us a 10. And what is 10 minus 4? It's a 6. What is 10 minus 6? It's a 4. As simple as that. You have 8 plus 2 is 10. So 10 minus 8 is 2. 10 minus 2 is 8. Suppose we have a subtraction problem like this. 55 minus 19. Addition is like climbing the stairs. Subtraction is like coming down the stairs. Okay, we want to come down 19 steps from 55. Using the expertise we gained so far, what is the easiest way to do this problem? You can pause the video and think about it. Instead of coming down 19 steps, we can come down 20 steps and go up by one step. So we can subtract a 20 from 55. So 55 minus 20 is a 5 minus 2, 3, 5 minus 0, 5. This is 35. We have come down one step too many. So we have to go up by one step. So 35 plus 1 is a 36. That is the answer. As simple as that. How do we do this? 61 minus 38. From 61, we have to come down 38 steps. But it is easy to come down 40 steps and go back. So 61 minus 40 is a 21. 21, we have to add 2 back. So it's a 23. Actually, from 61, we are coming down to 23 by climbing 38 steps. Okay, what we did is we jumped 40 steps down and then came up two steps to 23. That is what we did. Actually, if you take a pause, you can do other easier ways also. You can actually Okay, if you see, this is a 38. You can first come down 30 steps and then come down 8 steps. So, first come down 30 steps and then come down 8 steps. So, 30 steps, 8 steps. So, from 61, if you come down 30 steps, it is a 61 minus 30 is a 31. 31, you come down 8 steps, you reach 23. You can choose your own way. 
pause the video and do the subtractions problems by yourself. Create your own ways. Here are the answers for you. Pause the video and check them out. That's all for today. Thank you.